Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video, I would like to explaining in details on to the MCQ on lathe machines. So in my previous videos that will be discussion on to the MCQ on to the basic metal cutting processes. So in this video only discussing on to the lathe machines and that will be the part number one. So let us start with the question number one. Which type of surface is produced by turning operations in lathe machines? So option A flat surface, option B cylindrical surface, option C taper surface, option D none of the mansions. So basically this question is coming from the different kind of operations it will be carried out onto the lathe machines. So if you want to learn in detail so you should find the link in my description for the different kind of operations it will be carried out onto the lathe machines so in the case of the turning operations onto the lathe machines basically it forms the cylindrical surfaces so the option b cylindrical surfaces is being producing by the turning operations on the lathe machine so then next question what is necessary condition for turning? So the option A cutting tool should be harder than the material of workpiece. So that will be the necessary conditions in any metal cutting operations or you can say any turning operations. Tool material must be harder than the workpiece material. Then and then such kind of tool that will be having the ability to cut the another materials. So option A that will be the necessary conditions. B. Material of workpiece should be harder than the cutting tool. So it never possible. So in that case tool is being weared out. So there is no metal removal rate. So B is, is not possible. C. Hardness of the cutting tool and the material of the workpiece should be same. So that will be not also not the necessary conditions. And D. None of the mansions. So only option A that will be the cutting tool must be harder than the workpiece material. So that will be the necessary conditions for the turning. So the answer A which is the right indication for these questions. The next question. Lathe cannot produce internal features like holes. True or false. So basically that will be false with the help of the lathe machine you should also producing the holes so basically for drilling kind of operations onto the lathe machines you should find the link in my descriptions for the different kind of operations it will be carried out onto the lathe machines so drilling it will be also possible onto the lathe machines so this statement that will be the false the next question which type of feed is needed in facing operations so once again that will be from the different kind of operations it will be from the lathe machines so first one the longitudinal b cross feed c both the cross and longitudinal and none of the mansions so in case of you want to work onto the facing operations with the lathe machines so always that will be the cross feed is required because in case of the facing operations the length of the job is being reducing not the diameter so for length of the job is being decreasing onto the facing operations it will be carried out on the lathe machines so in that case cross feed is required the next question which type of surface is produced in facing operations a cylindrical b taper c flat and none of the mansions so i already described in my fourth questions so by the application of the cross fade generally that will be used for reducing the length of the job so just you can see this is our round job if you work on to that facing operations so that will be reducing the that kind of length of the jobs so basically it will be makes a flat surface onto the facing operations onto the lathe machines just you can see the different kind of options a cylindrical so cylindrical surface only into the turning operations b taper it will be not possible c flat surface so the answer is c 
flat surface is being producing for the facing operations onto the lathe machines. The next question. Which type of lathe is also known as a center lathe? First, bench lathe, B, capstan lathe, C, engine lathe and D, room lathe. So basically engine lathe, it is also known as a center lathe. So that will be the basic lathe machines. So if you want to work in detail of the engine lathe, you should find the link in my description. The next question. Which of the following is fitted on the bed? Option A headstock, option B tailstock, option C headstock and tailstocks and none of the mansions. So basically this question is from the construction of the engine lay. So if you want to learn in detail of that engine lathe construction and working so you should find the link in my description so basically onto bed both the headstock and tailstock is being mounted so according to this option so option c headstock and tailstock which is fitted onto the bed so the right answer is c headstock and tailstocks then next question all gear drive is equipped with a clutches clutch B brake C clutches and brake and none of the mansions so basically all gear drives which is equipped with the clutches and brake because that will be clutch is used for easily engaging and disengaging the gears and brake that will be generally used to controlling the speed so both are equipped into the gear drive so the option C clutches and brakes is equipped into the all gear drives so that will be the right answer so then next question sliding gear may be mounted on intermediate shaft so option a only one b only two c more or more than two and none of the mansions so basically that will be the arrangement of the gears so basically sliding gears may be mounted on two or more than two intermediate shaft so that will be used to controlling the speed as well as transferring the motion and power from one shaft to another shaft. So basically according to this question the answer C. The sliding gears may be mounted on two or more than two intermediate shafts. The next question. For performing which kind of operations it tailstock or you can say tailstock holds the tool first drilling b rimming c tapping and d all of the mansions so basically this one is from the types of operations it will be carried out onto the lathe machines so if you hold the tool into the tailstock and workpiece it will be into the chucks so chuck is being rotated and that drill bead which is fitted into the tailstocks so feed is given towards the rotating workpiece and you should carry the drilling operations so basically drilling it will be performing operations when the tailstock it will be attached with the drill bits so that will be the right answer drilling so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much